So, you've bought yourself a brand new tagine and it's not glazed, which means you've got to season it before you start using it. Unglazed tagine means no shiny surfaces anywhere whatsoever. Glazed tagines, like this one here, is shiny. It's been covered apart from its base that will be touching the heat source. So as far as glazed tagines are concerned, I don't bother seasoning them. As far as I'm concerned, they don't need seasoning. But I suggest that you follow whatever instructions that come with your bought tagine. But back to our unglazed one, which is what this lecture is about. So to season a brand new unglazed tagine, this method can be applied to all unglazed clay pots of whatever origin. First thing we do is soak both parts in water. Regular ordinary room water temperature is fine. Soak your tagine overnight. So get a bucket, um, get a, if your tagine is small enough, get a massive bowl, fill it up with water, place both parts perhaps like that to fit better to soak your tagine. The next day, take it out, lose the water, just leave your tagine aside to dry for two minutes. You'll find that it dries very, very quickly because it's porous. It'll dry very quickly. And once it's dry, get some extra virgin olive oil, get a clean tea towel, kitchen towel. I prefer to use kitchen towel because I just, kitchen paper, because I just throw it away. So get a bowl of extra virgin olive oil and start rubbing it all over every single part of the tagine once covered with olive oil in there too the inside of the lid okay just putting that aside we're not done with that one obviously so all around the rims the edges get into every part that you can the base don't forget the base so we're going to do this to the whole tagine lid and base covering every surface then we place this whole tagine as it is in a cold oven, so unheated, completely unheated. Don't touch that oven before you put the, the tagine in. So place your tagine in the oven, close the door. Now you turn the oven on. You turn it to a very low temperature, 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And you leave the tagine in there as the oven is warming up for a total of two hours. When those two hours are up, turn the oven off, leave the tagine in the oven to cool completely. So however long it takes, you know. As far as I'm concerned, leave it in there for an hour by which time it would have re uh, reduced its temperature oven and tagine by quite a bit. And then take your tagine out Another kitchen paper, rub the inside all over where the food's going to be touching it. That's it. Leave it aside as it is like that to dry. The olive oil will be soaked in and everything that you've done will be creating a protective layer and you are good to go to cook any of the recipes we have here. How? Do you clean a tagine, an unglazed tagine? Never use soap to clean an unglazed tagine because remember I said earlier that it's porous, it absorbs whatever you give it. So if you're going to use soap or washing up liquid as it's really called, it's going to absorb the washing up liquid. The next time you cook with it, your food's going to be tasting a bit soapy and we don't want that, do we? So all you do is you take a scrubber 
and you don't have to worry about scratching the surface this is clay it's not it's perfectly fine so what I do is I use a scrubber a scourer and I just scrub away any dried up food if you look at it you can see that my tagine has got different colors because it's been used so often it's had burnt bits on it occasionally but you know that's a well used, well loved tagine. If you do want to use something to clean it, then use bicarbonate soda or sodium bicarbonate, depending on which part of the world you live in. So just sprinkle a little bit of it and use your scourer once again, just give it a wash and put it aside. And I do that from time to time too, especially after I've cooked fish in it. So as not to carry the flavor or the aroma over to the next recipe. So that's it how to care for your unglazed tagine. What's that you say? Glazed tagines? Feel free to wash it with soap on the inside. Even the base which is unglazed is fine because the interior of the tagine oops, is glazed and it's not going to be absorbing anything on this side where the food's going to be touching. So that's it. You've got a tagine you know how to care for it. I guess there's only one thing to do. Let's get cooking.